Hi everyone, BriefCam has just released BriefCam version 6.0 and in this video we'll review some of the new features and improvements. With this new version, BriefCam now enables multi-site deployments. Until now, BriefCam was available as a standalone deployment. Now with the multi-site deployment, organizations can pull business intelligence analytics and also alerts from all of its individual sites into one centralized location. The video continues to be processed locally on each site and this saves on bandwidth. And then the organization can gain valuable insights using the video analytics across all of their sites. And this is how it works. Each site has BriefCam installed locally and processes the site's video and it then pushes the respond alerts and the research business intelligence data to the hub. Respond alerts and also research data can be sent from the hub to a third party. Then in the hub you can view the respond alerts in one location generated from all of the remote sites like you see here in this image. And you can also analyze the aggregated business intelligence data that you gathered from all sites in dashboards. Now let's have a look at our improved face recognition. In our constant endeavor to improve the accuracy of BriefCam, we've released an enhanced face recognition engine. We put our new face recognition engine through a strict data set and found significant improvements. And we compared our old and new algorithms in two different ways. For respond alerts, what we found was that when we set the false alarm rate to 1%, our detection rate improved from 80% to 97.6%. And then when we set a detection rate of 95%, we found that our false alarms were significantly reduced from 60% to 0.5%. Another thing that we found was that in most cases, using our new engine, the accuracy for people wearing face masks was similar to our old accuracy for when people were not wearing face masks. So again, another significant improvement. And on to our next improvement. We just launched a new centralized help center. By clicking here on the help icon, you'll get the entire documentation set that's relevant for you, including a new troubleshooting guide, our white papers and our videos. The most comprehensive set is available from the administrator console and you can also access the comprehensive set by logging into our training center into our LMS. Using the new help center you can search for answers to your questions all in one centralized location. So example if I open it here and I search for the word proximity you'll see all of the topics related to proximity. So here you see the proximity in the user guide, you see our proximity white paper, etc. For customers who work in an offline environment, there's a new installer available for installing a local version of the new help center. But we recommend if possible to use the online help center as it may be more up to date. All of the BriefCam installers are gradually being updated to deliver an easier installation and upgrade process. And in this version, the research installer was updated. Now we've added two new dashboards. The first is the retail trends across sites dashboard. And this dashboard is available on hub deployments and it shows you how you can use the research solution to display aggregated BI data from all of your sites. For example, here we see two sites, London and Manchester. And you no longer have to log into two separate sites to gather the information about the two different stores. You would just log into the hub and see the information about all of the sites in one place. You can even have dozens of sites and see them all at one glance. We also release the visual layers dashboard and this displays all four available layers. Using this dashboard you can see at one glance important analytics about a specific source. Another change we made to the research solution was we added a new measure called number of unique identities on a specific route. 
And here you can easily see which people are visiting different locations to measure relevant trends. And there's detailed information about this in the documentation. Another small tweak that we made is that in the review module, when you're filtering for sources, the sources that are not selected are now hidden and not just grayed out. So when a case includes many sources, this improvement makes it easier to scroll down and navigate the relevant sources. We made a number of improvements to the on-demand activity screen to better support large-scale deployments. So here you can see that you can now cancel all the tasks associated with a specific case with one click by clicking here on terminate entire case, where in the past we only had cancel request. And the items in the status column now have icons and are color coded to make it easier to quickly view the statuses. And we made a few more changes here where the newest request always appears first and the filters and the sorting are maintained. Now on-demand activities are now retrieved at a much quicker rate, improving the support of the large data sets. And also just note that in the administrator console, we have four new services that were added to support multi-site deployments. And there's two new templates in the administrator console to help you set up the required services for both the hub and the sites. So to recap the new BriefCam 6.0 features, you can now deploy BriefCam as a multi-site architecture. We've significantly improved the accuracy of our face recognition. The research solution was enhanced. We now have a new centralized help center to help you easily find the information you're looking for. And there were changes made to the administrator console to help with large-scale deployments. And that sums it up. For more information, please refer to the release notes and the new BriefCam Help Center. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.